Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Eucharist this Thursday, 28th week in ordinary time. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Lito and Lori Zapanta, Marlon and Joyce and Ira Takdol. For the birthday thanksgiving of Johanna Vila, Marvin Santos, Rick Miranda, Ruel Villarin. For the special intentions of Miguel Lising, Grace and Jean Alexi Lumanlan, Franz Rafael Franco, Andrew Sanidad, Jay Cortez, Catherine and Tristor Soto, Kristen Sotelo, John Carlo Tubig, Agnes David and Family, Herminio and Lynette Nocum and Family, Bernie and Baby Hanson and Family, Phil and Janet Castro and Family, Eleanor Ventura, Jeremy Robes, Arman and Mayatnao, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sarah Coquinco, Almari Luis Morales. For healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Herminio Nukum, Susan Lacambra, Jenna Nikdauko, Mei Cabrera, Father Raul de los Santos, Doris Dumpalan, Susana and Gloria Sotelo, Leticia and Oraya Yuna and Juan Third Soto, Danica Dumagin, Juanita Carlos, Maricar Navarro Vergara, Michelle Rivera, Gerarda Padua, Lisi Yaplito, Jocelyn David, Ron Ingersoll, Winifred Chandionco, Joan Pamela Nang Sison, Jennifer Soriano, Adelaida Manyalak, Rene Santos, Father Edwin Billy, Eliadora Balingit, Divina Gracia Carbunco, Ricardo Nogoy Sr., Danilo Olazo, Baby Zaina Lorin Hope Matitu, Angelo C. Quizon, Basilica Binuya Quesada, Ede Lumlas, Cyril Blue L. Calves, Eller Vito, Gloria Panilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those who may pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Elena Miller, Wilma Hirao, Consortia Adona Danganan, Francisco Noel Nunga III, Maxima Capis, Christopher Glenn Binuya Quizon, Enemino and Asuncio Nemlas, Agustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana S. Olalia, Rodel Olea, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantampo, Alex Resurrection, Aliandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francisca Hipolito, Maribet Miranda Death Anniversary, Lucia De Leon, Adoracion Licayan, Carlos Pinpin, Salvina Enriquez, Jose Go, Soledad Go, Maria Esusa Reyes, Vicente G. Gamboa, Rodofredo Esus Serenita David, Zoilo Seferina and Lourdes Cunanan, Anet and Antonio Sikat, Arnel and Peter David, and all who souls in purgatory. Our priest presider for today's Mass is Reverend Father Elmer Tomama. Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing the anthem. In the name of the Father, 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I have done, done and in, in what, what I have failed to do, to through my fault, through my fault, fault through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen the liturgy of the word A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the holy ones who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord in the favor of his will. For the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In Christ we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the heart. 
with the harp a melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Let us all stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they kill them, and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute, in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who died between the altar and the temple building yes I tell you this generation will be charged with their blood woe to you scholars of the law you have taken away the key of knowledge you yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. Mga kapatid, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Si Apostol San Pablo sa kanyang unang sulat sa Corinto Chapter 13, verse 11, ay nagsasabi, Nung ako'y bata pa, ako'y nagsasalita, nag-iisip, at nang matuwirang tulad ng bata. Ngayon ako'y meron ng sapat na gulang, iniwanan ko na ang mga asal ng bata. Diba ganun nangyari sa ating buhay? Nang maliit pa tayo, ang ating pagkilos, ang ating ugali, ang ating pag-unawa, ganun din dahil bata pa tayo. Pero sana sa ating paglaki or sa ating uh, pagtatanda ay meron din pag-uunlad sana yung ating mga pag-uugali. Ba't ko ito nasabi din? Itong sinasabi ni Apostol San Pablo, ganoon din po ang sinasabi 
ni Socrates ba yun, na philosopher doon sa Greece, na sabi niya, ang ating pag-iisip daw po sa simula, ng maliit pa tayo, ay tabula rasa. Nabig sabi ng tabula rasa, blanco na blanco. Di ba, tingnan mo yung bata, pag pagsilang, isang sanggol, Makapagsalita ba yan ng ano, kapangpangan kagad or bisaya or Tagalog? Hindi. Natuto siya kung ano ang tinuturo ng kanyang nanay. So, sabi ng mga philosopher, walang papasok sa ating pag-iisip, sa ating kaalaman, kung hindi dumaan sa ating mga senses. Mata, ilong, bibig, or sense of touch. So, sana along the way din na lumaki yung bata, of course, lumalawak din sana yung kanyang kaalaman. At sana yung kanyang kaalaman ay hindi maging hadlang na makasarili lamang. Dahil ito ang punto ng ating Panginoong Hesus sa Ebanghelyo ni San Lucas. Kahapon ay parang sinusumpa niya yung mga pariseyo. Ngayon naman, sino po yung tinutuligsa ng ating Panginoon ay yung mga nagtuturo ng batas. O sabihin natin, sila yung mga abogado, sila yung mga profesional, sila yung may kaalaman, and sila ay may hawak ng susi. The key, di ba yung pagpasok natin sa isang bahay o isang ano, dadaan tayo sa pinto. Hindi tinadaan sa bintana kasi sabi ng ating Panginoon, ang dadaan sa bintana ay magnanakaw. Dadaan tayo sa pinto at saka kung sarado, kailangan mayroon tayong susi para mabuksan. So sana ganun din po itong mga nagtuturo ng batas or yung mga professional. But minsan sad to say, ito sila mga hudyo sa kapanginoon ng ating Panginoon binibigyan nila ang kahalagahan, yung batas, na nakalimutan po yung mga mahalagang bagay, tulad ng what? Pag-ibig, awa, hustisya, at katotohanan. So, sana itong mga may alam, mga sementing, edukado, educated, sana maging susi, na magiging what? Liwanag, para sa iba na medyo mangmang. Di ba mayroon dating isang senador, the late senator Miriam Santiago, yung kanyang aklat na nasinusulat na sabi, stupidity is forever. Bakit pa uh, forever yung stupidity daw, yung kamangmangan, katangahan? Dahil kung yung isang tao ay mangmang, ang hirap turuan. Mas mabuti pa yung turuan yung mga walang alam meaning ignoramos dahil at least sila ay bukas matuto at kung ating tingnan sa ating buhay bago itong teknolohiyang internet dati kumukuha tayo ng kaalaman sa ating mga guro at ako po bilang probinsyano dahil kaling ako ng lady na nag elementary po from 1971 to 76 at uh, nag-high school 76 to 1980, meron akong mga teachers dati na mga who is who sa hometown ng tatay ko. Pag makasalubong namin sa daan, natatakot kami. Dahil para ba silang mataas sila. Pero ngayon, nag-iiba na. Dati, 70s, 80s, ang mga mag-aaral, natatakot sa kailang mga guro. Ngayon, ang mga guro na natatakot sa mga mag-aaral. Lalo na po kung magkakamali. In a sense na mayroong mga physical abuse. Nako. So ganun. Naala ko dati. Pag may sasakyan, nadadaan sa ano, natatakot kami. Pero ngayon, yung mga bata, hindi na natatakot sa sasakyan. Ang sasakyan na pati driver, natatakot. So nag-iiba na tayo ngayon. No? So kapatid, sana rin po yung mga may kaalaman 
sila sana ay magiging susi, maging liwanag, magiging gabay para tayo, not because sabi ng mga, mga matatalino tayo. At in rit, matalino man talagang Pilipino. May kwento nga yan doon sa Amerika. Na, di ba yung person sa Amerika nakatira sa White House? Dito sa atin, ang ating presidente nakatira sa Malacanang. So, it so happened daw yung, yung fence, part ng fence ng, ano, ng White House na sisira. So, yung isang staff, nag-hire ng mga contractor. Mexican contractor, American contractor, Filipino contractor. So, yung unang na gano ay yung uh, contractor na Uh, Mexican. Sabi niya, uh, bago niya, no, sinusukat mo niya yung, yung project. Tapos sabi niya, Sir, itong project na ito, ang gagastusin, $700. Ito yung breakdown. $300 sa labor, $300 for the materials, and $100 sa aking profit. Yung American contractor, gano'n naman. Sukat siya, sukat. Tapos pagkatapos yung sukat, sabi niya sa staff ng White House, Sir, itong project na ito, ang gagastusin, $900. Ito yung breakdown. $400 sa labor, $400 sa material, $100 aking profit. Magaling yung ating kabalin, yung ating kabawayang Pilipino. Bakit magaling? Walang dalang tip measure. Walang dalang calculator. Matik, sabi niya sa staff ng White House. Alam mo, sir, itong project nito, magkano'ng gagastusin? $2,700. Nagulat yung staff. Wala kang estimate. Paano mo yung nakuha? Ganito yan, sir, ang breakdown. $2,000 sa iyo. $2,000 sa akin. At yung 700, yung Mexican. So the following day, yung Mexican ang nag-ubra, pero yung ating kababayan, isang libong dolyares yung kanyang profit. So magaling. Ha? So sana huwag lang ganun. Hindi maganda yung ehemplo. But yung magandang ehemplo, I'll let mention the name, yung taga rito. Na alam ko, pag umuwi siya dito, galing sa Amerika, dahil sikat siya na artist, At least, ibinahagi niya yung kanyang mga biyaya. At least, pag uwi niya dito, nagbigay siya ng mga encouragement sa mga kabataan. Yun ang maganda. Uh, of course, we teach by our words. We teach by what we know, the theories. But higit sa lahat, ang ating pagtuturo, paggabay sa mga kabataan, mahalaga sa ating ginagawa. Dahil may kasabihan, words speak, but action speaks louder than words. So kapatid, sana itong turo ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ay paalaala sa ating buhay. Dahil kung sa kanyang kapanahonan yung mga pariseyo ay mga nagkukunwari, pati sa ating kapanahon ngayon, ang dami rin mga pariseyo, baka isa na ko dyan. So let's pray for each other na tayo ay magiging tapat, magiging uh, totoo na saksi sa ating panampalataya. Magsitayo. Prayer of the faithful, Jesus exposed the hypocrisy of the scribes and the Pharisees who build the memorials of the prophets, who were killed by those who would not listen to the word of God. But in seeking to destroy Jesus, they were following the violence of those who killed God's messengers. Let us pray for the grace to truly honor righteous persons. For every petition, our response is, Lord, Hear our prayer. Ulitin po natin. Lord, hear our prayer. May the people of God honor the prophets, the righteous, and all the saints by following their holy lives, 
and asking their intercession before the glorious throne of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May public officials honor the heroes of the country, not by their platitudes, but by imitating the heroes, love, and sacrifices for the nation, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May children honor their parents by their love and affection and their support in their parents' old age, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May young people give respect and remain close to the elderly, so that can benefit from the elderly's wisdom based on long experience, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we honor our beloved dead by keeping their beautiful memories and by praying for the repose of their soul, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Almighty Father, may the memories of good people remain in our hearts and in our lives by our imitation of their godly lives. May we build on the good foundation they have begun. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, brethren, that this sacrifice we offer may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending a spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, the Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all of thy your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we are free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace. Lamb of God, God you take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Whoever eat this bread will live forever. I love you with desire to receive you in Holy Communion. At this moment, I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Come then spiritually and dwell in my heart. I embrace you and unite myself totally to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen. All stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of this divine nature 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our life. Thanks be to God. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise the Lord. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Sing to the sea, your voices leave the heart. The Lord has made.